What's up? I'm Todd Weisenmaker, and I'm here trying out the American Acoustasonic Telecaster by Fender. My initial reaction is that it's a yeah beautiful sunburst, interesting, cool sound hole situation going on. Lightweight, nice fretboard. It has a carve up here. I feel like it's a little bit thinner than a normal Telecaster, and it has the upper carve kind of like a Strat, so it's a little more comfortable. Down here for your, your shredding, you can get up the, the high notes, which you know is not really something that a, an acoustic usually gives you. I don't know, it, it's weirdly more like an acoustic guitar, but it plays like an electric, so it's kind of like you're cheating. <laughs> So right now we're gonna be in position five and I'm gonna be going between a dreadnought and a auditorium size guitar. And I'll start with the dreadnought. Okay, so I'm in position five, and I'm gonna um, just dial in the, some of the closeness of the auditorium. So we are in position four, and we have a small bodied maple acoustic, and then turn it over, and we have your uh, mahogany dreadnought. So let's start with the maple. <laughs> nice and bright, nice and crispy, you can hear the maple. Now we're gonna do the dreadnought mahogany. A little warmer, bigger sound. In position four, we're gonna blend the small body maple back and sides with the mahogany dreadnought. So basically we're just brightening up the darker mahogany kind of warm sound. So the neck feels, it's not completely lacquered. It's kind of a worn in feeling neck. It still feels like a, a Telecaster. It's kind of right in the middle. It's not super skinny, it's not beefy. It has a nice flat radius. You can really, any bend. It's very easy to do. You can't do that on uh, most acoustics. As far as playability, uh, no limitations, just my own. <laughs> right now we're in position three, which is a Brazilian Rosewood Dreadnought, and it's that nice uh, punch that you want from a, a Brazilian Rosewood guitar. <laughs> So I'm gonna blend the uh, body pickup and get some of the percussiveness of the top of the guitar. If you wanna just play some rhythm, it's maybe you and just somebody else, uh, you can really get some of that going. All right, so we're in position two now, and it's a, a mahogany dreadnought, and then we can roll in our electric guitar bridge pickup. So let's hear how just the dread sounds. sounds going through the Princeton with some juice on it. All right. 
right, so we are in position one, the electric setting, and it is just this magnetic bridge pickup. Your standard clean tone, uh, sounds like an electric guitar, with a little more body from the acoustic, and let's hear that sound. <laughs> Now using the tone knob, we can blend in the fatter version of that, and it kind of gives it a, a bit of a boost and a little bit of an overdrive effect. This is definitely gonna be your lead line boost solos, or if you wanna just kick it up for the chorus or something like that, and it's just right here and easy to turn the knob. I could definitely see this being the only guitar you bring to a gig. I mean, you can honestly play any, any electric guitar song you can play on this. It sounds great through the amp. If you wanna just do strumming, finger picking, flat picking, I could definitely see myself using this in plenty of settings. I think the main advantage to something like this is going to be it's just easier to move around with it. You really can dial in any of the tone you have in your head. Some of the problems with using an acoustic DI is uh, eliminated with a lot less feedback with something a uh, smaller body like this. And if you're just gonna use an acoustic guitar for strumming, which a lot of people do in a live situation, it's, it's, it's gonna be perfect for that. You're going through a DI anyways. Through the DI, it really truly sounds better and then on top of that, it, it plays as good, if not better, than a lot of electric guitars. All right, so we were playing the uh, Fender American Acoustasonic Telecaster, and I encourage you to check it out at your local guitar center or check it out at guitarcenter.com.